What's going on, everyone? We're here today for another box opening video. We're here ah. with Ricky Glaza. Throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up. The glow border. Play, play catch with your old man. Ah, let's get this thing nice and open. Wow. There you go, Rick. An orange guy. There you go. We got an orange guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. He got the baton. He got a baton. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> Ow. This is actually a good rail. There you go, bro. Oh, right. fight. No, I'm not. There we go. All right, well. <laughs> This video comes as a surprise to us because we ordered this on Amazon and then a few days later it said package lost. Dun, dun, dun. But here we are today and it looks like the package is not lost. All right, here are the instructions. Here are the legs. You're like one of those Halloween creatures. All right, so this right here is the MR Skate Rail Skateboard Ramp Grind Rail Professional Skate Park Grind Rail Adjustable Height Grind Rail. It comes in uh, oval or round. So this comes in the round one like this, but it also comes in the oval where it's like flat on top and round on the edges like this. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, they're, they're terrible. But uh, I want you guys to guess how much you think this was. Yeah, I'm gonna say like $54, dollars 54 dollars It's $4.99. Well, $75.50. $75.50. This rail goes for $79.99. Well wow. done. Well done, but the oval one is $113.99. I wonder why. So why, yeah, why is it that much more expensive for the oval? The I world the may never know. This is what the oval one looks like. The oval oh, one I looks... I hate looks, those rails. Oh, I used to like have an element. The support is stronger on that one. Yeah. I had an Allen rail just like that. And let's see, let's see a few of these, a few of these reviews real quick. Nice rail and great price. Extender piece should be coming soon. Five stars, my skater boys love it. It's a great size and my son has a Honda Fit car and this fits well in the car to take the parts to, or to take it to parks to skate on. This was a great buy. And then another verified purchase, I'm one like star, says this is not good. I did the grinding, but it's bent. I regret buying two of these. Oh, dude. Wow. Did they put a photo? It looks Crushed. terrible. But it looks like he's skating. He's not skating. It looks like he's he's biking it. What the heck? Well, that's what happens when you put metal on metal. So I mean, I guess if you hop on it you with a bike, just in. don't. All right. Well, let's see. We're gonna find out if this is the greatest rail on Amazon for under a hundred dollars. It, it just might be. Let's go. Go ask your mom. Four out of five stars. Great for beginners and advanced alike. I bought this for my 16-year-old son. He loves to use the rails at the skate park for a scooter, so I thought he could throw this in our backyard on the days when he doesn't have time to travel to the nearest park. Wow. It went together easily, and the adjustable height option is great for learning more advanced moves. Whoa. The best part is that this rail worked not only for my son's scooter, but also for my husband's skateboard. They both wow. have so much fun doing tricks on this rail. It's sturdy with only a little give when they're using it. Certainly a fun rail. So far, we've had this for almost a year, and it's still going strong. Shout out, go ask your mom for the most comprehensive review on an Amazon product I've ever read in my life. I know, for real. She got the whole skate family. I mean, go skate mom. Come film a video with us. Leave in the comments below. All right, well, we're going to get this rail set up, and then Ricky and Glow are going to skate it and give you guys a comprehensive review, and I'm going to film them giving you a comprehensive review. All right, that's... Oh, no. Wait, what? I think it's this bit. I just think it's Oh, there you go. I'm not gonna lie, that's looking pretty good. You know what I like too is that the bottom of the legs have the, the foam so it grips yeah, the floor. That's what Rick was saying, but I don't think that's gonna help. Like, we can take these off. I don't, I don't think it's gonna help much either, but you know, it's the thought that counts. They're trying on, on concrete outside, that's making a huge difference. All right, my prediction is 100% it's gonna bend here and it's gonna have a big clip. And, and then every time you grind over, it's gonna go king king. And then I'm gonna be sad. Oh, don't be sad, brother. Be strong, Rick. All right, so this is also a piece of workout equipment so we can practice our squats. We can practice our curls. Gabe Cruz's favorite, deadlift. How's my form? Better than mine. <laughs> what else we got? Curl. What's this one called? Like army something? I don't know the uh, official name. What about this? Boom, boom. Oh. You know, I made a TikTok one time and I said, like, doing a kickflip with the rail. <laughs> Why is that so easy for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty light. All right, All right, so what I was thinking for this is Glow and I are going to try to do every basic trick 
on this rail just to really test it out of all the different variables. And if it doesn't survive. Yeah, so every trick one time, we'll see how it's worn after that. Yeah. What does that say about a rail that can't survive all of skateboarding's most basic rail tricks? I think we're gonna need to wax it, but let's do one with no wax. Let's see how this paint holds up. All right, what are we starting with? Board slide? Board slide. Oh! Wow. Looks now to fakie? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, let's start with back 50. Oh! oh! Paint flying. That sounded terrible. That that sounded and felt weird. It's a fakie. Oh, like Look at that paint. But I think once you grind off the initial paint, it'll be better. All right, I'll hit a front 50. Oh, oh I missed the four slide. So for, for 50 50s, do like backside and front side with 80 out count as variations or you just move on? No, no, land, land, I think land everything. Should I do 50 180s or nah? That's what I was asking. Like 50 50 front and back 180 count or no? Yeah, probably, because then we can do crook front and back 180 stuff. All right, I, I will do that. Good. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just stop it like no shoves like that. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Man, I didn't even think about Nolly the guy? Way. I didn't think about the Nolly board slides either. It is a thin rail. Yeah, it is a little bit thin. Actually, it might be the right, might be the right size for these things. Oh yeah, it might be. Yes. Oh. My fave. That's cool though. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Wow. It's good. Good. Five air. Oh. oh. Five oh one eighties. Dang. Should we do that? There it is. I think. I think you know. Yeah. I get. Five oh one eighties are not real tricks. Maybe we can come back if we need to. All right. Front and back five. Good. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, we're not doing shoves. We're not doing shoves. Come on, no shoves, no brother. No shoves. Get the shoves You should know here. that, Brown. We're only sorry. doing 180. Sorry. Sorry. You should we're know that, Brown. 180. Sorry, Brown. How dare you? All right, let's do back nose grind. It's, it opens up the interesting dilemma, though. Is there such a trick as a front side overcook? Let me know in the comments. I'm not going to share my opinion, but I'll do front and back okay, nose grind. I want to know your opinion, Rick. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm not going to do a crook. I'm going to do a back nose grind. <laughs> yeah, wow. boy. Oh. Right. Yeah, we got a problem. The leg is bending. There is. <laughs> I'm seriously curious about your crook. Your uh, crook. okay. It's interesting because it all comes down to the history. And when you say over crook, so let's talk regular. I'm I'm regular. This is a backside over crook. All right, you ollie over and you do a front crook basically, the motion. But if you go this way and you do this, one would want to call that a front side over crook, but skating kind of has a consensus that this is still a nose grind. But then it begs the question, what if you do this? If you ollie on and do that, well then what do you call that if you're gonna call that a nose grind? So then is like these two things di a different trick basically. And I kind of think it's not. I think that all of this is just a nose grind. Well, let's go. Leave it in the comments below. Front and back lip? Yeah. You got Smiths too. Oh, yeah. There's glitter on the floor, man. Oh! I got stuck, bro. Yeah, you did. What was that reason? You got a whole box of wax in the back. I think I got bent in. Back lip it, Rick. I don't think it's, I don't think it's bending. Dude. I'm a little scared that if we really pop early, we're landing right in the middle, it's like bending it already. See, backflip is like a big action trick. It's scary to do like a big movement trick on a little rail. Yeah. We need a front lip fake. Wow. 
Oh, see that? Ugh, that noise. You see, see how, much, how much it moved? Just like, oh! <laughs> Get back in the gym, bruh. Bro, what happened there? Yeah, uh, you got oh, that. Oh, almost landed it. I would have been so hyped. Oh! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I think, honestly, I think it's a better idea if we skate it that way than that way, because then the bendingness will be more even. Yeah. I realized we didn't do no slides yet either. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm not very good at back nose one, especially on rail, but I think I could land like a cheapy one. Oh, switch oh. guy? I was really trying to go for him. This man was about to go down. Uh, they go saw. downtown. Whoa, there it is. Manny. Yes, sir. Ah! All right, we'll take it. I think what we should do is do switch, but not do nollie and fakie. That's a whole different ball game. Yeah. Same as shove, same as kickflip in. But I think let's just do most of those tricks switch. I think. We still need no slides too. Oh yeah, no slides, and then let's do switch. You got front nose glow. That's gonna be just as bad as the nose one. Woo. All right, we'll take that. All right, let's begin goofy style. I should have just fell. Intermission, how, how's the rail holding up? Uh, honestly, decent. I'm very concerned for the join. I think if I wanted to bend it, I effortlessly could, but I'm trying to be courteous. I'm trying to land either like here or here. Not like we're right in there. But I mean, it's, I'm, we're still skating a rail, like fun. Still better than no rail, like definitely. And like 80 bucks, if you went to Home Depot, you probably couldn't make a good rail for like less than 80 bucks. I'll give them that. You could make a ledge, but a rail, a bit harder. A bit more complex. Whoa. Switch front fitty. Let's move away from the switch. Let's go. Let's set it up somewhere else. Yeah? No more switch? I mean, we already did every variation of, of rail trick, basically. What does Glow want to do? Grind to manual or something? What are we trying to get, like, to the end? Grind a manual, uh, turn into a uh, pan rail. I remember when me and Mo did that. Double, double rail. How high does it go? That's a good question. The higher you go, the more unstable you become. Oh, okay. That's not very high. Well, it's like still kind of high. It's a fair bit more. What I never understand about these movable rails is the lowest setting is never this part flush on that part. It's always slightly elevated. I feel like it's like kind of unnecessarily making the rail weaker than it could be. Maybe if you understand why, let me know in the comments. Look at that, down rail. Oh, you're gonna smoke me like that? <laughs> yeah, all right. This is terrible. From Feeble Glow. What do you want, board slide? What's safer? What do you mean? 50 board slide? What's Probably 50. D do whatever is safer. I'll do board slide. Easy. Yeah, that, did, that did better than I thought. It did make a weird it sound is, though. It is kind of scary because it's like you don't know if it's going to move or break or what. All right, 50. Woo! That was hatched. You could eat. You're picking I, up some speed. You hit I the Mario speed. Kart booster on that one. Yeah, we need to scratch more paint off. To backsmith will be scary. <laughs> kind of chilling on it. All right, so what Rob Pace does for the cover of Thrasher and the ender of his video part is he back 50s down a big handrail, then it goes flat, then it drops down, similar to this, onto another down. And then he shifts from back 50 to back smith. Wow. So we can kind of recreate it back 50 that, then down, then back smith. Wow. But I also might get smoked. Oh, wow. 
I gotta get way faster than that. Oh! oh! Flip out. Dude, right, that was one. sick. That was locked. This one, this one. Let's go. That, that was, was clean, so huh? Sick. Honestly, that felt good. Now let's go to the street spot and try. No. Shout out Rob Pace, amazing Australian skateboarder. Well, you know what? It didn't bend. It didn't break. Honestly, it's a solid road. Yeah, honestly, that was a fun session. Normally yeah. when I skate these terrible things, I say, haha, even though it was terrible, we had a fun sesh. But I would say that was like pretty good. Like yeah. not as good as a real rail, bolted into the ground or a sturdy, smooth one. But pretty good, but pretty and, fun. And also like the rails that you have a joint in the middle, usually that joint comes into play way earlier. Whereas yeah. here, I feel like it didn't have too much I of an think impact. If a heavy adult male keeps skating it, it will for sure bend over time. But right now, I think it's still pretty much perfect. You say that how, you, if how we skated, you skate the full thing and don't focus on too many tricks yeah, in the middle. Try not to land right on the, the middle. middle yeah. You'd be all right. All right, so what's your rating out of five stars? Go to Rick. All right, I would say, I wouldn't just give it a rating, I would say, considering the price, I give it four out of five stars. I give it about 4.1. Dang. <laughs> just because they, <laughs> they added some extra decal with the plastic underneath. Not a lot of companies are worried about, they're just worried about the product of the rail. They care. These yeah, look, really these care about six your... extra screws that they could have left out. A whole six screws are expensive, hey, bro. Screws go a long <laughs> way. Yeah. That's a lot of money in the corporation world. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for this fantastic rail video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what was your favorite trick of this video. There are some videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave in the comments below. When you don't learn how to skateboard, and you have everything you need at brailleskateboarding.com.